<laughs> Hello everyone, I am here to talk to you guys about the Ponyo Live on Instagram. Uh, if you didn't know what channel you were on right now. <laughs> um, so this is the Ponyo. It's absolutely amazing. If you guys have any questions, please drop them below. I would love to answer anything. If you guys have specific styles that you guys want to see using the Ponyo, I am here for that. So let me know again here for you today. So the Ponyo is so unique, it is not stretchy. So it's not like an elastic, like I have one on my finger, I never wear them, but it's nothing like an elastic. It doesn't stretch, so it's not putting tension on your hair. So it is, let me show you, bendy. So it bends, it does not stretch. So what this is gonna be the shape that you do, you're gonna flatten it out, and I'll show you on my head in a second, and then you take your thumbs, and you bend it around that thumb, just like that. Again, same thing on the other side. Take your thumb and your other thumb and wrap it around. That's gonna hold your hair in place. So these sharp bends are what kind of locks in your style. Um, and I wanna show you real quick too with a hair tie. Um, when you have your hair in a hair tie, depending on how thick your hair is, mine is gonna be as thick as I show you here, uh, it wraps around and it looks like this in your hair, right? Kind of, not really. But look at the difference. Like that is your hair around here, wrapping it, making it bigger. Enough talk, I'll show you guys on my head. Because <laughs> I can talk for hours, so get me off of it. Okay, so here we go. Let me show you. Uh, again, we're going to go back into a circle. What you want to do is two fingers, so your pointer and your thumb. So important, we want to do the baby shark not, this is what we come up with, the octopus. You don't want this because it's awkward, it's hard to pull through. So remember, hi from Russia, oh, so cool, hi. Uh, so for uh, what pony do you recommend for a low pony? Uh, honestly, all of them are great. I, it depends on the thickness of your hair. You said you have medium to thin, go with the original uh, ponyo, this original one. I think it's gonna be, work really, really nice for you. And I'll do a low pony so you can see actually. So I'm going to go ahead and give my little, pieces out because that's what I like, the style I like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, again, two fingers, boop, 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 boop. Grab my hair with those two fingers, feed the hair through the ponyo, keeping it close to your head. Keep the ponyo close to your head. Do not drop the ponyo because it's gonna get all weird and not gonna, it's not gonna feel tight if you do that. Okay, drop your hair, two hands on the ponyo, still tight to my head, as you can see. Squeeze it flat, that's gonna flatten it out make it look thicker and fuller. Look at the thickness there. So it already makes it look thicker. And I'm going to take my thumb and my other thumb and wrap it around. See, that locks it in. Same thing on the other side. Lock it in, boom. Give it an extra squeeze and boom. Perfect pony. And it's going nowhere. I've been shaking my head so often to show that it doesn't like fall out, that I'm getting like migraines, it's crazy. But I do wanna show y'all that it's not going to move. It is going to stay exactly where you put it if you put it in properly. That is the most important thing. Um, am I the founder of Ponyo? I am not the inventor. So our inventor is amazing. She's in Colorado. Um, I actually found her, um, I, one of my clients brought one of these in and I was so freaking impressed with it that I was like, I have to be involved. So I basically called and I was like, you are hiring me. You don't really have a choice. So she flew me out of Colorado. I'm in Texas and we just fell in love with each other. And here we are. Uh, I am, I'm the head of marketing. So I do all, all the videos, all that content. That's me. <laughs> okay. So again, I'm going to do a high ponytail. So let's try that out. <clears throat> okay. Whoop. Hello. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna show you all a couple tricks too. The high ponytail, I typically wear a high pony because it's my style, it's what I like. Uh, not everyone likes a, a high pony. So if you don't like it high, wear it low. Do you boo, you know? I uh, love the high ponies, dude, me too. It's like, it's my thing. Okay, I know, cheer, like cheerleader, high pony, all that. Two fingers, do not do the octopus. You, oh shoot, this, do, this, <laughs> two fingers, so important. Then we're going to feed your hair through, keeping it close to your head. Squeeze that sucker flat, and look at that spread out. Look at that, look at that. Hell yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna do those sharp individual bends. So, whoop, 
Oh my gosh. Okay. There. Okay. Sharp individual bend. So you bend it around that thumb. Individually. You don't. I'll show you what not to do too in a second. Bend. Boom. Ooh. And give it an extra squeeze. And boom. Hi, pony for days. My ponytails, guys, are a third. Like, they look like, like a third of this ponytail because my hair's so thin and fine and... Um, this has been like a total game changer for me when it comes to ponytails. Like, look at that height. <laughs> it's pretty crazy that it, uh, this product can actually like give you hair, but without giving you hair, if that makes sense. It's like the illusion of hair. Uh, hello, pony. We need Ponyo here from Mexico. Heck yeah. Definitely. Dude, they're amazing. I'm, how is it for thick, long hair? It's awesome for thick, long hair. We have a ton of content on that. If you guys go, I obviously don't have thick, long hair. Um, well, it's long, but no. Anyway, I'll get on a tangent. Uh, go to our website, instructions, and uh, you'll see all thick hair. So we have thicker models. I wear extensions sometimes too. Um, I'm not wearing them today, but they work great with extensions. Wigs, they don't damage them, which is really cool. Um, and then to take it out. Oh, real quick. Trick. Trick, trick, trick. So we have all grown up doing this to tighten our ponytail, right? You do that. And to tighten and a that's going to damage your hair because it's like pulling on the like root and everything b when it comes to the ponyo it loosens it up do not do that okay so instead i'm going to really quickly put this back on and show you what to do instead instead what we're going to do so y'all see like my real time non-instructional ponyo put on there we go okay so instead if you feel like you want it tighter it's not supposed to feel tight that's the point of the ponyo it's supposed to feel comfortable so the ponyo is comfortable non-damaging and it's not going to damage your well, i just said that not going to damage your hair okay so see it's going nowhere boom literally tight not going in there but if you feel like you need to tighten it if you want to tighten it i know it's a habit that we all have what you do instead is you hold it and give it a little squeeze. Boom. And it just sucks it right up. So now it's tight again. Um, does it hurt people for heavy hair? No. So what's beautiful about it is that it does not, it kind of alleviates the head, alleviates the headache. So um, it's just so comfortable. You'll be shocked. Like you don't even feel like there's anything in your hair um, when it's in. Like I feel like my hair is just like floating. So that's pretty cool. The pearls. Okay. Yes. So I want, okay. I'm gonna show y'all uh, the pearls. It's one of my favorites. Something I wanna do though is, um, here, I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna show y'all non-damaging. Look at this sucker. No, 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 no damage. So pulling out a hair ties, like, like you gotta like work it out. This, you know, it just slides right out. It's amazing. Okay, what am I doing? I'm doing pearls. So we are going to show y'all the pearl bling ring so this is going to be um covering the ponyo so it gets like a decorative piece you can wear it as uh, a bracelet which is really cool so it doubles as a bracelet um and a hair accessory sorry i'm trying to read while i'm doing this uh how can we make fine hair look more vol voluminous so that's what the beauty of the ponyo is do you see how if there's a hollow area right here that makes it look like you have more hair like it looks like I'm, i have extensions because like you know those extensions that you wrap the hair around like that's the same look that i get with the ponyo which i love and you can wrap your hair around to give that same exact look okay let's get back to problems so we are getting a ton of stock be prepared september is going to be a, be a very big month for restocks and new products and things like that so be on the lookout because it's so exciting um and i'm not going to give anything away right now but just september is the month um so okay i like to wear the pony 2.0 sometimes when it comes to the bling rings because it complete it's thinner so if you see the difference right there it is thinner and so the bling ring does cover um the the ponyo when it's a 2.0 sorry i just lost my train of thought okay <clears throat> so the bling ring is stretchy and it is magnetic so it's so easy you can also we use it as a bracelet which is really cool if i can get it on hold on i can never get bracelets on myself it's like a thing i need my husband to put it on okay 
So it can be a bracelet or when you're ready to wear it, you just pop it off and wrap it, the decorative part around the ponio and then let the magnets touch. And it's floating pearls on your ponytail. How freaking cute is that? Yeah, I'm definitely addicted to these pearl ones. We have different colors. They're so pretty. Let me see if I've got a different color in front of me. There's pink. There's just so much. We got so many things. It's amazing. Okay, I'm trying to read comments too, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, da, da, da. Um, so, okay, someone's asking what to use um, for sections of hair. So if you want to do a half up style, I love for half up style the Pony 2.0 because it is less dramatic and less bulky. So it's not going to be as like noticeable if that makes sense. It's like for a little bit of hair, you want like a little bit of little accessories. So I prefer the Pony 2.0 for that or the XL Slim depending on if you have super thick hair. Um, yay! Oh my gosh, I love you guys. Y'all are so sweet. I love it. Okay, what else should we do? Let's, okay, I do want to, well, I, I'll talk about that later. Let's do a uh, top knot. That's like super in, right? Okay, we're going to do two fingers. I'm going to do a high. If you guys have any styles you want, just let me know. I know that we have a ton that you could do. So if there's a specific one that you guys have like been wanting to learn to do, let me know because I'll do it for you. And I, I'm trying to read the comments too. Okay, so two fingers. If you guys do need help with the ponyo using it, we will FaceTime you. Like we will do a one-on-one -on -one tutorial and you will um, get like one-on-one -on -one help on how to properly put it in your hair type. So go to FaceTime at ponyo.com and they will get you there. Okay, so the two colors of pins that we have right now in stock are these suckers. We are getting a uh, restock, like I said, September um, is when we're hoping to get all of our restocks in. Um, but we do have some really cool colors, so like, you don't want to you don't want to miss it. They're so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna use the ones that we've got. Um, very Halloween of me. So we're gonna give it a little twist, do a little wrap, and then once you get to that end, you're gonna take your pins. These are amazing because they're not going to damage your hair. They're gonna be very comfortable and non-damaging. So you're gonna grab the hair and push it under the ponio. Same thing here. And you, I really only need one because I'm, I've got really thin hair, but if you have thick hair, you know, layer them. And the more colors, the better. They're so cute. And boom, you have a cute top knot. You can kind of play with it if you want and get to what you want. Uh, the inventor's calling me right now. That's why that happened, sorry. <laughs> okay, and we've got a cute top knot. So easy, so fun, so fast. And it's out of your way and good for a work day, date day, whatever, whatever you're doing today. Okay, to take out, again, non-damaging, just slides right out. Very comfortable. Okay, okay, and we're, now we're looking, I'm, someone just said bun bar styles. So let's do a bun bar. Typically, I would do, use the Pony 2.0, but for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and use the regular. Um, so you put your hair in a ponytail, take your bun bar. It's open on one side, close on the other. I'm going to take it, hold it like a bicycle handle, slide it up, down towards your face. So uh, a mistake some people make is going this way, no go forward towards your forehead, okay? Once you hit your forehead, you're going to overlap them, boom, boom, and give it a nice little squeeze, nothing too tight, so you wanna be able to wrap your hair around. So I'm gonna take my fingers and slide my hair around, and the hair is what's gonna hold those together. So you wanna make sure you go all the way around, and now you give it a good freaking squeeze, like squeeze the, the crap out of it. Boom, the tighter you squeeze, the tighter the bun bar will be. And I like my buns big, I'm from Texas, everything's bigger here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hold the back end where I closed it in, take my little fingers, and give it a little tug. You all are gonna see this thing grow, and it's gonna be fat, it's gonna look like I have a ton, like I've got thick hair, and I don't. That's why I love because they are a total game changer for someone like me. They're a game changer for every hair type, really, because there's so many benefits for each hair type, but for me, it's the thickness, because that's what I like. And I don't have to wear extensions anymore. They're so expensive. So boom, I've got a cute bun. I go to a wedding and I'm good to go. Okay, to take it out is just as easy. You expose it, you open it, and again, non-damaging. And it slides right out. Back to a pony. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna do, do you guys want, okay, I'll do one more bun bar style. And then I'm gonna wrap it up because I gotta get on meetings. 
So I'm gonna do a uh, bow bun real quick. So let's do it. Where's my bun bar? There it is. Okay, so again, the, this is a really, it looks like a complicated style, but it's so easy to do uh, on your own. It looks like a, almost like a bridal style. You could do for like a wedding if there's some flowers in there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, gather your hair. You're going to take the bun bar at the, at kind of like your, the base of your head. So you want it touching your head. Grab your hair. Figure eight. My hair is super clean right now, so I just showered. So um, it's a little slippery. Normally I do this when it's like dirty because then it like has some. So, okay, sorry. Bend the ends in and then you're gonna give it a nice little squeeze downwards like that, okay? And now it's kind of locked in. I'm going to just spread it out to cover the bun bar. And I can't see what I'm doing. But hopefully that looks good. <laughs> it's usually foolproof. Like, it's so easy to do. I'll get closer. And boom. Put some flowers up here. Or even, like, the, the pins would be really cute in there. And you've got an easy style that you did by yourself. You can even get some volume up here if you want. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you guys for uh, joining me today. Let me know if you guys need any help. We will FaceTime you. We are so committed to our customers that we will get on the phone, FaceTime you, make sure that you love the product. We genuinely love the product, so we know that you will too. Um, sometimes you need a little help. It's a different product. It's different. We've never, we haven't used a ponyo before, so it's going to be different. It's just like a cell phone. It's brand new. You don't know what to do with it until you practice. So it just takes practice. Let me know. Again, if you guys need help, message us. Our uh, Instagram uh, messenger will always answer you. Uh, email, anything. Let us know. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. And I need to do a Q&A because I want to be able to read everything. So maybe I'll do that next week. Um, all right. Love you guys. Bye.